One of the biggest new features we built in CS4 was multiple artboards. So now for the first time, people could collect a bunch of different design assets into a single file and store them on independent artboards and use those for presentations or review with their clients or simply to organize their thoughts. Based on that, we got a lot of requests for enhancements on multiple artboards, so that's what we've built into CS5. First was the ability to actually have names for individual artboards. In this case, I have an example where I'm creating a um, landing page for a website, and I want to give each of these artboards the, the name of the actual screen that's going to be used on the website. So you can see that I've already named a few of these, a welcome screen, a map screen, and a design screen. I want to show you how I can add names to the additional ones. So if I simply come into my artboard tool up here, you'll notice when I have an artboard selected, its name appears up here. I'm going to go ahead and add names for uh, this artboard and call it restaurant. And the last artboard and call this meridian. Now, of course, the other thing that becomes important when you want to use artboards in a presentation or um, for this kind of uh, screen design is that you need to be able to control the sequence in which you're going to present them. So we've added a new artboard panel that lets you do exactly that. You can see it currently has a sequence, one, two, three, four, five, with the artboards as they're presented. But they're actually um, out of sequence. I want the welcome screen to come first, followed by this design screen, and then the rest of them after that. So I'm going to start by dragging those into the position that I want them on the canvas. I could do this uh, functionality in CS4. I'm going to take this one, put it up here at the top. That's the first screen, followed by the design screen, followed by the map. The restaurant guide. And finally, this uh, future of Meridian. So now I have them in the visual order that I want, and that's what I could do in CS4. But I also want to change the sequence that these will be presented in when I export them to a PDF or just uh, present them to a client in any format. So the welcome screen is where I want it, but the design screen has to go above the map. The map is next, the restaurant is next, the Meridian is next. Now I have these in the exact sequence that I want. So what's that going to do? Well, if I choose here, start for the from the welcome screen, and then go next, 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 it will present them in the correct order. And also, when I save these as a PDF or uh, export them to any other applications, they'll be they'll come in at the same order that I created. So the other thing that we've added is the ability to easily copy artwork from one artboard and paste it onto other artboards. So you can see here that I've got on the top banner, I've got these nice buttons with this horizontal stripe background, but I only created that on the first artboard, and I want it to appear on all of the artboards. Now in CS5, I can simply select this banner, copy it, and then under the Edit menu, I have a new command, actually two new commands, called Paste in Place, so I can go to an individual artboard and paste it exactly in the same location, or Paste on all artboards. And if I do that, you'll see that what happens is it pasted that same content into the same location on each of my artboards. So it's a really good way to take uh, common content that's going to be repeated on each of the artboards and, um, and apply it. Finally, um, in the Save dialog, there's a new function that allows you to save each artboard as an individual file. So I'm going to put the call this a temp. Say I'm going to save this as an Illustrator file. And you'll see that there's a control down here that says save each artboard to a separate file. Previously, you could only do this if you exported to a non-native format. Now you can do this with an Illustrator format as well. So maybe I just want to see um, artboards uh, 4 and 5 um, exported in this external file. I go ahead and click OK, and it's going to just save out those two artboards. I, that's really convenient for making um, presentations of my artwork to, uh, to clients or to my colleagues. I don't have to present my entire file. I can just export a couple of artboards and use those for the presentation in the sequence that I want. Um, so that's a wrap-up of the multiple artboard enhancements in Illustrator CS5.